Our weed of the week is Curly Cup Gum Weed. Oh, this is a fun one, Brian, because we normally <laughs> see this in pasture type areas, rangeland type areas. Don't normally see it out into our crop field. So generally what we're talking about there is how do we kill it without killing the grass? Yeah, and there are some products that you can use. Chaparral, Graze on Next would be products that are okay. Uh, Darren, what do you think though about, let's say the guy says, no, I don't wanna use those longer term residual products or anything. I just wanna go use some 2,4-D or dicamba because I may turn that into crop ground in a few years. Well, they aren't the best products for you. And a lot of times we'll see guys add some oil to them to try to get them to stick a little bit better on these wood type species. Um, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of that. I'd rather try and kill those weeds. So maybe you just want to spot spray and, and hit just right on those weeds if you can. But if it's a thick, thick infestation of gum weed, I'd rather get it knocked out once and for all, and it may tie you up into pasture for a few years. Okay, so how about tordon? That's the other one a lot of times I think of sure. when I think about woody species. How do you feel about tordon? Yeah, absolutely. If, if you're in an area that can utilize tordon, you don't have a lot of trees around that are desirable, you don't have fish around, no problem, I'd use Tordon too. Okay, when we do get out into crop ground, again, you know, the normal products probably aren't gonna do it on a lot of these woody species, but if you can get a decent burn down, and tillage certainly is going to help on gumweed. That's all the time we have for this week's Weed of the Week, Curly Cup Gumweed, but Iron Talk is coming up next. <music>